We have a mandate. As followers of Jesus Christ, we have been given a task. And Paul spells that in 2 Corinthians chapter 5 when he says, We have been given the task to be ministers of reconciliation. Of course, uh, we cannot really understand what it means to be ministers of reconcil uh, reconciliation or to do the ministry of reconciliation apart from modeling everything back to the primary reconciler, the one mediator between God and man, Jesus Christ himself. Of course, he is the true, prof uh, the true priest. He is the one who, who, uh, who came from heaven, mediated God to us uh, in, in, in all his glory. He came down. He is uh, the priest from his birth to baptism to ascension. He is a priest who is one with us and one of us. He, he comes to us in, in his humility as a human being, being with us, uh, being with us in our sorrows, in our pain. In fact, Hebrews uh, 4 says like something like, Jesus can empathize with us because he was one of us. He, he is one with us. He experienced everything about what it means to be human. And so he's interceding for us as the priest. So much like he interceded on the cross, Father, forgive them because they don't know what they're doing. He is also the priest who is ahead of us in, in, in the ascension. The, the, their continuing priestly intercession of Jesus Christ. Because he, he is still our savior. He is still our high priest. He, he, interests, he, he is our high priest when he was on earth and he is a high priest when he is in heaven. And for us, I think that means that being a priest here, following Jesus, means being a priest all the time. When we are with people intentionally, coming to them, being with them, sharing their experience, putting ourselves in, in their shoes, but also when we are away from them. We can still be priests in our prayers, in our rooms, while we're viewing their posts on Facebook, while, while we're thinking about them, reflecting on how can we pray for the people that I interact every day when we, before we go to bed. I think that is one of our, you know, ministry as uh, ministers of reconciliation. And all of that flows out because we have a high priest who models what it means to be ministers of reconciliation.